let us continue playing Shining in the Darkness. When we last left off, uh, Zorn failed to kill Dark Soul. The kingdom is apparently doomed. That is, unless we can ascend to the top level of the dungeon. Which is what are we going to attempt to do, or at least get somewhere near it. We are reasonably high leveled. Into dungeon level 4 we go. Now just to quickly check the map. Well, it's a fairly direct path of where we go in then. Okay, let's kill off these living armors. Ah oh, yeah. They're tough. Not tough enough that they're not gonna die there, but tough. Now, I didn't upgrade a lot of equipment, in fact I sold quite a fair amount. But um because there's really not a lot we can buy that's worth buying. Uh let me just Nope, not that. Let's go through our item list. Uh, Shin's equipment hasn't changed, really. Uh, Milo only now has the herb water. And Pyra, we bought um, a miracle herb, because that does revive somebody at full health, assuming we get it to work. Haven't been down here. And we are introduced to another Skizar. Well, we can deal with these fairly easily these days. Boost spell, 106 additional attack points. Smash. And it goes for a free spell. Okay, that hurt. Won't deny, that hurt. No damage. Oh god. It's because I said fairly easily, isn't it? Also, because I had some mad idea about making it to the end of this level. It was clearly a mad idea. As was taking a step forward before actually... Well, we caught my surprise. We should be able to kill at least one of them. Hopefully both of them. Awesome low, 197. And I'm at 2,000 experience. Right. Milo, if you would care to get us all up to full hit points again. Yeah, we'll use up the um, full heals here. And then we'll see if there's anything over here. What there is, is a warbird, a necromancer, and a troll. Starts with a pub joke, I'm sure. Uh, you know what, we're actually going to go for a full blaze spell. I want these things dead. Particularly the Necromancer. Uh, Necromancer heals himself, but that's not going to matter. Thirty-three, thirty-three. We're getting a bit battered with magic in this dungeon so far. Right, kill him before he summons something, and the Warbird dies as well. Lots of encounters. No, we'll keep attacking. Don't want to waste too much of our mana here. Okay, four warbirds. One down, two down. Uh, these blast spells are getting a bit annoying. Attack, attack, attack. They're both still alive, which is rather irritating, but the irritation is now gone. Only 4,000 experience for that. And I've just walked into a box. I have. There might be something, but I can't be bothered to see. Uh, let's see if this one's any better. Anything down here? No. But looking at the map, it doesn't look as if there's um, going to be much down here. Nope, and two griffins. Should probably heal. 
after this fight. So I'm victorious. Small amount of experience in gold. They're both up to null and chest. Getting healer fruit. Rah. Ooh, ran into a group of necromancers. Not a good thing. Now Pyra doesn't tangle herself up. She didn't. She should hopefully be able to deal with those next round then. Awesome blow, 103, 39, and Pyro Tangles up in the web, but that's not a problem because the battle is won. Shinya is up to level 38. Attack 4, defense 1. And taking a step backwards brings us into two Berserker types. Pyro is tangled, but hopefully both Milo and Shin should finish them off. And indeed, that's what happens. So, oh, now there's four of them. Uh, go for a low, a low blast with the. Um, oh. Well, it would have worked had one of them not um, not managed to miss this. Hopefully, this is enough to kill. Yep. And now it's whether Shin goes first or not. He does. Death. Some 3,000 experience, Milo goes up a level. Level 36, but no new spell. Right, four trolls. 32, 34, 32, awesome blow, 107, dead. That's what we like to see. And the troll is vanquished. And Pyro goes up to level 37. Hit points, magic, IQ, speed, luck, attack, defense. And we now have Bolt 3. So that's only one step away from the most powerful spell in the game that we can cast, anyway. Awesome low, 112. And Milo will finish it off. Well, we're having quite a successful run so far in comparative experience gain, anyway. Everyone's up a level. Uh, which way do we want to go? We'll take them out quickly and then. Ah, that's what it does, it paralyzes. Well, it's good that we finally worked that one out. Just have to have Milo heal it. 2000 ish experience. Detox. No longer paral paralyzed. No, we didn't want to search the area. We wanted to go heal spell. Uh, been up there. Seems like a dead end, so we'll just carry on. Haven't been down here yet. Four griffins. Okay, and Pyro tangles itself up. So the griffins will have a time round here. Seven. And I'll just leave Milo and Shin to finish up, and then Shin needs some healing. A lot of it, potentially. Nope, we go first, so that'll just be a um, brief heal then. Full heal with Milo. Nearly 300 hit points. Huzzah. Oh dear, we ran into one warrior. What are we going to do? Smite him, I think. Now that that's done, we have Living Armors. We already know we might as well then cast a low-level blaze spell on these, because 
the whip doesn't do enough damage, and actually that doesn't do a lot either. And that's another living armor down the drain, so just killing a blast on them. Iris seems to struggle to do any form of damage to them. Which is a bit annoying. Still. Nothing there but two necromancers. Who hopefully won't go on a mass summoning rant. In fact they won't. That one gets eviscerated. Okay, Sea Stallion. Yeah, easily dealt with. A lot of dead ends and... Why don't I walk backwards? Runs into trouble. Let's see. Another awesome blow to the Necromancer. We're just tearing them in half. Okay, so... Ah, chest. Alright, in this chest we get... a steel whip. Which would be good, but it's not going to be as powerful as a hex whip, which we can't unequip in any case. Oh well, I guess we can sell it, but that was kind of worthless then. And drains us of yet more valuable mana. Right. Kill off those. Alright, hang yourself up. One down. What we really, really do with is finding some more different ore. Right. Kill off the Necromancer before he summons something. And you're torn in half. Storm Sword is awesome. Right, so that's that side passage explored. And most of our men are gone. Wait. And we count some dragon spawn. Let's go with a blast spell and with a a lower level free spell. Between those, they should manage it. I was starting to wonder if I'd overestimated the dragons, but two of them survived. One of them survived. And you do a reasonable amount of damage to Pyra, who's now going to whip him to death. Okay, nearly 4,000 experience for that. And our little venture along the side passage is done, I believe. Two more Vipers. Tack, tack, tack. Awesome blow, 185. Boom. And the Viper dies as well. We're getting all this money and we actually can't use an awful lot of it. I want these guys dead. Preferably before they um, do their little magic attack. Hopefully that'll do enough. No it doesn't. This was all worthless. Well, we're going to have to heal anyway. It's a shame, it doesn't feel like we made a lot of progress. Ooh, one of them ran away though. That's always a good sign. It means we are leveled higher than um, the enemies at the moment. Just getting to the end smoothly without losing all our mana.
Oh, why did I do that? Oh well, I suppose it's at full health now. I meant to do that to Milo. Well, he's, Milo's not at full health, but we should be alright from there. So, continuing on then. Two living armors. No attacks, killing one. Two attacks, killing the other. And some experience was gained. Oh, decisions now. Let's go with a burst spell and kill off the vipers. Or free burst. So that will convince the Mandagoras to go and heal. Oh, I didn't quite kill off the last viper, but. Doesn't make Shin, Milo's paralysed, doesn't make Pyra. Okay, attack, attack. Milo is paralysed, Viper glares, doesn't make Shin, so that should be okay. And the Viper is dead. Three dragons spawn. All out attack then. No crits, so one of them will survive to do something. Run away, go on. That's the ball of flame at Milo. And you know, I prefer that because it only hit one of them. It's the um, ones that attack the entire group that are problems. Right, so let's go this way. Uh, as long as they're all damaged, they should just heal, so Pyro attacking is the best move here. Doesn't get herself tangled. One down. Two down. And now you should just heal. Howling in pain? Well, that's a new one, but it didn't do anything. Awesome blow, one down. And... Milo will kill the other. Right. Two dragons spawn. Not really a threat to us at this stage. Funny to say that, but it's probably true now. What I will do is heal Milo before we go much further. So we've got half a mana left, roughly. And here we are, we're about where we were last time. Now if I remember right, we actually went down here for it to explore this bit, so we'll continue with that, I think. Yeah, here we go, troglodytes. Power tangle itself up. One down, and... Yeah, the other one's down before we have to worry about it. Ching is up to level 39. He's got two levels in this stage. Four attack, one defense. Let's go over a view spell and just see. So the last time we went down there, and obviously we've explored it because we can't go any further. So this time we'll go right. Okay, my low attacks. Well, once down at least. Death Mask does a lot. Yay, tougher grade enemies. Love them. But we get more experience this way. Well, about the same experience actually. But... Ah, second one. Let's just go see where this first thing leads and then we'll cycle around this and if necessary go back to the other one. Hobgoblins. Right, let's go with a blast spell and a attack spell. Oh, not attack. Just attack. Let's see if this is enough to kill them. It isn't anymore. Oh, and they're quick and they hit for quite a lot. 
they hit shit for quite a lot anyway. He could be dead here. Nope, we'll survive that at least. Right, please kill them, Pyra. So, Hobgoblins need a bit of respect. Not a problem, I can do that. 6,000 experience, my leg goes up another level. Hence points. Burst is now level 4, and Pyra has gone up to level 38 as well. Attack 2, defense 3. Alright, let's actually use Milo's healing for a bit. Fully heal Shin. 301 hit points now. Right. Let's just go left. Left first. And left again, and... Well, if it's turning back on itself, then we'll go to the end one and then just head down. Two meat zombies. Meat zombie one is dead. Meat zombie two is dead. We stand victorious. Chest. Open it up, and we get... Ooh, a heal ring. Now, we might want to test what that does. Well, we know it heals, obviously, but... We might need to test that. Oh, another chest. Okay. Mimic's disguised as chests. Pet hates here. Well, I could try a D-Soul, I guess. We'll go with it and see what happens. If it doesn't work, we boost Jin. Tap out to increase by 164. Level 2 D Soul. Doesn't work. Awesome blow, 382. Okay. That'll fit. That'll sort it out. Well, uh, there's probably going to be a couple more, more of those looking at this. Thirty. You gonna be another mimic? Yes, actually. Okay, well we know the game now. Boost Shin. No damage. Housing. Excuse me while I just get over this for a moment. Um, run. Pyra, it has never been more important for you to run. We're going to save here. And then we're going to use up this on Milo. It doesn't work because I haven't worked out how they work yet. Let's. We've saved. Let's see what's in the last one before we leave. And hope we can run from this. Ooh, frost armor. Right, so. I don't think there's much re more reason to stay here. So let's go. Egress. Get out of here. Alright, back to the shrine then. Where we're we're going to have to spend some money. Well, that's a problem for us, really, but. Yeah, bring back to life. Well, I'd say it's ex extortion, but it really isn't anymore. We have so much money. We'd break the economy just by being in this town, I'm sure. Well, both characters resurrected. Uh, no, I don't want you to get rid of that curse. We actually like that curse. Uh, yeah, you can record the exploits. And then I think... I'm going to rest up at the tavern to sort out Pyra's um, mana points. And then, next time, we continue exploring le dungeon level 4. 
until then. <laughs>